All right, so I'm here at RBY Prints with Rio. He's he's printing out some t-shirts. Yeah, he's printing out some t-shirts right now. So in this video right here, I'm gonna give you guys some tips on approaching a screen printer. I know we got like a half and half audience. Some of y'all do screen print. Some of y'all, you know, want to start screen printing or getting some t-shirts printed. I'm here at Rio's, and I'm gonna give you guys some tips. First things first, you want to make sure your art is good. You want to make sure it's in vector format because, as you can see, on the actual screen itself. If you sent over a JPEG or something, the lines won't be crisp. So you want to make sure the actual file itself is going to be in high quality. The next thing is the setup fee. So I'm going to show you guys what you're actually paying for. You're paying for this to get burned onto the actual screen itself. So you take your vellum, you put it on here, and this right here is going to burn it onto the actual screen itself. So whenever you put the ink on top of it, the ink only goes through to this area right here. So in order to do this, this right here is emulsion. Uh, once you turn this on, it hardens the emulsion. And then you wash out all the parts of the emulsion that did not harden up. So that's the setup fee right there. Um, and you pretty much pay a setup fee on each and every single one. So if you're doing right here, this is a two color print. You're paying a setup fee for this screen right here and then you're paying a setup fee for this screen right here because it would have to be two different screens I think we have a two color uh, print going on right now so I'll show you guys the process so not only are you paying setup fees for the screens to be made you're also paying it to get actually set up on the press itself so this right here we got the we got the screen on here and we have to set up the ink and make sure all of the ink is going through in the, uh, the correct places sometimes we might have like what you call pinholes and it might be on the wrong thing so we got to do some test prints before we actually even start running so that right there is a setup fee the next thing you're going to want to know is the garments itself so as you can see we got a whole bunch of garments some screen print shops typically uh, can handle the garment for you if you don't know where to get your garments for most of you all you should know you can get garments from Alpha Brothers, Sandmar, SS Activewear uh, those are the most popular places you can actually get garments and you can hand it over to your screen printer or you can actually bring it to them because sometimes if you want the shop to handle it they might charge you a little bit of a higher premium for that not too much but you know they got to go around and actually pick up the garments or order the garments and uh, have it shipped to them so that's one thing garments itself you're going to want to make sure that you handle that yourself um, that way you can get the best pricing on that. Now the other thing that's going to affect pricing is going to be your colors. Are you have like a standard black and white colors or you have a custom Pantone color. So you have like a whole bunch of standard colors or you have one that has to be a custom made PMS color. So basically we have to mix up this color so that it's custom to your actual brand. It's not something that you can typically buy at the store and they just sell. We have to mix a few different inks together to make that color. So sometimes these types of inks is going to cost a little more if you want something that's like color accurate or if you want to use something that's more of like a standard color it might be a little bit cheaper for you. The next thing is going to be how many colors are on the actual t-shirt itself. It's going to be one price for uh, one color and a whole nother price for a second color. And the location of it. So you're paying two prices for two different colors but then if you have the back printed or the sleeve printed that's going to be a whole nother price on top of it. So to get the best pricing you're gonna be talking about quantity. That's how you're gonna see the next price breaks. So obviously when it comes to quantity, the more you order, the better price breaks you're going to get. And at minimum, some shops, they'll probably do 24 to 50. Uh, some shops like start at 50 to 100 t-shirts, but usually you'll see the best price breaks like a thousand plus and whatnot. So those are going to be the things that affect pricing itself. The last thing you wanna know is turnaround time. How quick you get your orders out, Rio? about five to seven days. <laughs> five to seven days. So I know most shops, they'll typically say like seven to 14 business days. That, that kind of just gives them an open window. But most shops I've dealt with usually gets it done within like five to seven business days, which is fairly quick in terms of the things they gotta do to get the actual shirts to actually getting it printed. So check this out. This is the same vellum that I just showed you guys over there. Now this right here is the finished product, two color print. Pretty sick. Also, I know Rio like to run sales all the time. Uh, I think for a two-color print on a Gildan G500 right now, you can get it for seven bucks at a minimum of fifty. All right, so make sure you check that out, RioRBYPrints.com. Uh, that's some tips for using a screen printer. That was a quick video. I don't know what else to go over, but hopefully those are some good tips for you to approach a screen printer. Uh, be straightforward, and you don't have to pick up the phone 
and you know worry about things that they're gonna bring up that's pretty much it huh yes sir all right that's it so those are some tips for public screen printer if you need some uh quick white t-shirts printed go ahead and check out rio and uh i'm gonna help him get these orders printed let's go all right so i hope that video helped you out as far as approaching a screen printer i know some of y'all watch that are screen printers as well and it's so crazy how wide of an audience we have within the t-shirt space um, also, make sure you check out tshirtsellerpro.com. It's a community now. You get access to the step-by-step -step course and how I make money on Etsy and how I do product research. But on top of that, you also get access to the once a month group coaching call that we do. I'm in there. Uh, last month, we brought Spencer, the guy who did 200 grand last month on print on demand zone t-shirts. Uh, he's hopping back on to the next Zoom call too. He said he'll hop on there. Um, also, we do once a month giveaway in there. We're giving away this month. We're doing a heat press or the option to, if you don't have a heat press, I mean, if you already have a heat press, we're gonna do a sawgrass sublimation printer. Um, if you don't want that, you can do a $500 gift card. So we're gonna do giveaways within this group as well. It's been pretty awesome. T-shirtsellerpro.com, I'll post the link down below. Make sure you check that out. Hit up RBY Prints. Tell him that I sent you, especially if you want that five, six, seven dollar deal on those white uh, t-shirts and comment, like, subscribe. I'm gonna see y'all next time. Peace.